What's up everybody? We've got some Grinzo for you today. We have a bunch of goblins that are in jail and they're angry and they want to see the world burn and they want to get out of jail. And luckily Grinzo has the key. So let's get some goblins out. Against Chandra? Okay, cool. Haven't played against her. Interesting. Let's check out our hand. We have Mountain, Shrine, and Dragon Skull. And we'll get a goblin. Uh, yeah, we'll keep. Get Grinzo back up there. Uh, this this deck is uh, like this. Uh, okay. Okay, there we go. Got a goblin with haste. We're gonna draw first blood. <laughs> I love uh, I love it whenever there's a uh, just one creature out there by itself. Looks so pleasant. Like how to get there? What happened? What led to that? So we're going to come in hot for one. Uh, but with this deck right here with Grinzo, so when Grinzo comes to the battlefield, you know you can cast him for more than two, and he'll come in with plus one counters. So with this particular deck, I have Krinko in here, but other than that, all the goblins cost three or less. Cost two or less, excuse me. So you can almost always get uh, Grinzo down on turn two. We'll play Dragon Skull. Swing in for one. I said cost, but their power is less than two. I need to correct that. Their power is less than two. Um, yeah, um, we could wait for three, but really it's literally just Krinko that we'd be watching out for. So I want to start. Uh, I'm going to get Grinzo's key and start unlo unlocking some, uh, some cells. I'm going to play Mountain. Play Goblin War Chief. Oh, we gotta tap one more. So we're gonna swing in hot for five. Goblin's gonna just not goblin. Grinzo's gonna has this big uh, dungeon key swinging above his head. You also run cards like Erratic Explosion, so uh, we choose target creature or player and reveal until we hit a non-land card. You know, you deal damage, and it's a very goblin way to deal damage, but it also allows you to set up a really big scry. Let's say um, we run into a couple of lands. Oh, we got a face down morph creature. Spooky. <laughs> okay, so we play Shrine. Our goblins cost one less. And they have haste. So we can get down Goblin General. Or we can Erratic Explosion. Let's Erratic Explosion on that. Or we could do it to him, but I, I don't know what that is. So we've got a Morph Creature over there. Hold on, wait. Let me... So if we, we have 1, 2, 3, Devotion to 3, okay. This costs 2 less. Yeah, we're going to Erratic Explosion, whatever that is. Hopefully you set up a nice scry. I, I opted for the uh, foil version of this card. It was only like five cents more or something like that. Uh, we'll put that on the, on the bottom. Luckily it was two and it took care of them. Alright, so we're going to swing in for five again. Now, if we draw another land, we can get uh, Goblin General down, and we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Devotion to 5, so we can really take advantage of uh, Nykthos. Everflowing Chalice, okay. And props to him for running the, uh, the White Mountain Basics. I've always been intrigued by this mountain, because it looks very much like a forest, or like an island card, or it would be like a, uh, some type of Simic card. So we'll play Goblin Diplomats. Our devotion is one, two, three, four. Add red. Get down Goblin War Chief. And then we have enough to uh, just blind fire. Oh, those Dread Boar. I forgot we put it on the bottom. 
So we're going to swing in, yeah, swing with the team. I like playing goblins. Right click, right click attack with all creatures. Alright, he's down to 15. He hasn't done anything. I wonder if he has some type of a board wipe. Oh, he does have Mystifying Maze. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Possibility Storm. Okay. <laughs> I like where this deck's going. Now, do we want to... Just so we don't run into anything crazy with Possibility Storm, I'm gonna, we're gonna activate, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got six off uh, Nykthos. So we're gonna play, grab a Swamp. Add Devotion to Red. I'm just gonna blind fire right now. Feel like you're doing like a little scratch off. So we hit Command Tower, okay. <laughs> oh man, I don't want to whiff. Come on, let's get one goblin. Oh, we miss on Krinko. And that always happens. He's the only three drop in there. So we'll play uh, Bogart. See what we possibility storm into. Yeah. Goblin Machinist. I love this card. Look at that card art. That's a crazy goblin machine. So we're going to swing in hot. And it also combos really well with uh, being able to scry, so you reveal cards. Come in hot. I think that's a uh, three. I didn't count. Oh, he's down to one. Okay. wonder what he's going to have Possibility Storm into. Or I wonder if this is... Well, it's probably not a combo deck. I don't know. Never played against Chandra. But he is not giving up. He's at one life. He's going to make a stand. Destroy all non-basic lands. Okay. So we Shrine. Oh, no. Excuse me. I, was, I forgot about Possibility Storm. What did he get into? Is it Incinerary Command, I think? Oh, nice. So we're left standing with a... Uh, Put these into the graveyard. Um, diplomats, Goblin General, and War Chief. <laughs> oh, uh, Goblin Grenade off the top would be just. Oh, that would be so beautiful. I love Goblin Grenade. Let's do that. Let's uh, let's pray to the Magic Gods for a Goblin Grenade. Nope, that is <clears throat> that is far from it. So we'll play that. And I do want to get Grinzo down for two. Or do we want to get Goblin Machinist? So I'll have to so let's let's Goblin Machinist right now. Oh, I should have tapped uh, for Visus here. Goblin Machine just tries to start it up like a lawnmower and it just backfires. <laughs> I don't know, I just love that art. Like, And like, what's going on? So you've got the stadium over there. You've got this big goblin construct looking thing. I'd, I'd love to go to like a goblin gladiator event. Oh, that'd be fun. Ooh, destroy all lands. All right, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. Oh, man, he's just sitting at one. <laughs> this is a pretty sweet deck. I like this. So we get uh, nothing. We can't. We're sitting here with Goblin Machinist. Don't want to be all by myself. Hang in there, Goblin Machinist. 
All right, we got 38 more uh, Chandra triggers before he takes over the game. <laughs> the goblins, uh... Okay, let me see. So... Yeah, we're gonna block. Don't want her to flip. Okay. 14 card <laughs> duplicate. <laughs> All right, man. I, I'm I'm digging this. This is fun. All right, let's check out Chandra flipped. All right, so we get into Blood Crypt. So I'm going to shock this in. Yes, we're going to play two life. Put down Viscera Seer. See what we get into. Ooh. I hope he has a burn spell in his hand. That's going to be pretty epic if he does. Oh, bummer, man. I was hoping for the lightning bolt. That would have been real sweet. <laughs> uh no. Dang it. That's a bummer. Oh, man. That would have been real sweet. So our opponent's still sitting at one. I love playing uh, Mindclaw Shaman. It's, uh, you don't, well, I mean, I don't see it in Commander a lot, and, uh, I don't know, it's a fun little interaction. Alright, so we're getting stuffy dolled right now. What's Chandra's ultimate? Uh, deal sick damage to each opponent. Okay, so he's about to, our opponent's turning the oven up pretty high. Oh, we need some land. And we can't swing in, because Stuffy Doll redirect us. Okay. <laughs> oh, how perfect. Sitting at one life. <laughs> Although, Possibility Storm, such a fun card. So he turns that into an Ember Swallower. And I'm going to put this into play tap. That way we can hopefully... I don't know if I have any enter the battlefield triggers that deal damage in this deck. There's something about playing magic, conducting a game of magic at one life that just feels so good. Like, you know your opponent's just sitting there, it's just like one life. All right, we gain an emblem. <laughs> Deals three damage to you. <laughs> Swinging him for four. He's going to drop us down to 18. Come on, let's draw a two-drop creature. Uh-oh. I'm always so nervous. I don't even look at the revealed. I just want to see what pops out. Well, that was weird. Go down to 15. How right, we gain a life? But it enters tapped. So we're on a four turn clock right now. And the next turn we'll be able to... We have two three drop creatures, so... Hopefully we can possibility storm into something. What that is, I don't know. So he's doing five each turn, essentially. So now we're on a... Three turn clock. And we can block with Mineshaw, but he's at one. So we need, if we can get into some type of hasty creature, I'm going to leave uh, Shaman up. It's gonna have, that's going to be our best out to get out of this. Uh, chump block does us no good other than just delay the inevitable. Oh, and then, yeah, so he's got a... Yeah, the Chandra emblem. I forget about that. Too bad that's in our hand. That would have been nice to uh, possibly storm into. But play Scalding Tarn. Let's uh, spin the wheel.
Courageous Boot Control, have first strike, okay. So next turn, we're looking at, he's going to do Stuffy Doll. Go down to seven. Swing in for four, drop us down to three, and then we'll be dead on the Chandra Emblem. So we do need to block this next turn. Oh, wait, he didn't activate uh, Stuffy. You missed that one. So swinging into four, we'll go down to four. And then we're dead from Stuffy Doll. So we'll go ahead and block. Not too worried about first strike. Cut down to five. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go for it. Goblin pile driver is not going to get it done. Yeah, we're going to cast it. So if he activates stuff, he'll go to four. If he remembers. Oh, he does remember. So we're going down to four. We can just try and jump block with Goblin Pile Driver. So go down to three. And we're going to be dead on the Chandra trigger. Oh no, beautiful. Well played, sir. Very good game. Three to you. Good game. I will take that. I'll take a Chandra death. That was a beautiful, beautiful game. Alright guys, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Thanks.